welcome to discover talent presents in this series we will be covering how to create a resume for it professional right this entire series would be a beginner scale folks okay i'm you know before we start with the series just wanted to keep this expectation set and this video can be a long so please bear with me folks, okay. and after watching this entire series you will be a uh, well versed enough and enough to create your own cv okay so i would recommend watch this video until end because i'm covering basic steps of the powerpoint how to create a resume okay so without further ado let's get started this is the basic page of uh, powerpoint if in case you don't know how to open this powerpoint i'll show you that as well let me just click on this start button and then powerpoint okay it will take some time to load and then click on this blank document you could see this page okay this is the designer page where we are working on this and this is the title for and subtitle but we don't want this so what we will be doing we will just select this entirely okay from front click of mouse and then we'll click on the delete button okay so we have this blank document available right now okay now you need to click on this design tab over here on the top here you will click on this size option size screen which is wide screen now and then click on this custom slide size okay as soon as you hit portrait okay this particular entire slide would be in portrait form and click on this ensure fit this is how it looks like and this infographic way resume will help you a lot to add your multiple categories like your expertise your mission statement where are you working with what is your skills habits so on so forth okay so this is what i am going to cover in this entire series box so now we have this blank document what we need to do we need to add a couple of uh, things over here right like we need to add some photo now you need to click on this insert option shapes and then click here rectangle okay and then add as a rectangle on the top like this this is what i have did so far now what i will do i'll just copy this press a control and first click of mouse i'll just adjust this and i'll keep this aside and keep it a Rangeable form. I'll select this entire three objects again. Align horizontally. It will align automatically. And then I'll click this no outline. Again here, no outline. Now you could see this white space. It's not getting covered. So I'll just drag a bit. Cool. So I'll just zoom in over here. And then on the top, what I will do? I'll just select a design form and from here i'll select one design which help me to create my cv colors only okay uh, i don't want a much color of it so what i will do i'll just select a this one uh, just let me just check if in case it's usable to do otherwise we'll create a new one that's completely fine you can do your own as well Cool. So I'll create a new. That's completely fine. Okay. Uh, I'll just click on the top. I select the color shape format, and the, on the top I'll select this color. Cool. And over here to look for look and feel per se, right? Uh, it's, it looks like a professional CV. So that's what we need to add a color like gradient one. So gradient I'll select this linear left okay again I'll select here the new color which is this and for this I'll click on this gradient fill this color so this is how it looks like for now okay so slowly steadily we'll uh, start with these steps okay don't worry bear with me this is our header so what i will do i'll just keep it a short because this is just a name 
purpose we are using and rest of the other portion will use as a description and all the details so this is what I have did so far so let me just see now what I can do cool so this is what I have did and now I'll import a photo over here you can add your own photo folks okay and then from downloads I'll select my photo for now I'll select this okay in earlier series I have already covered how you can you know remove this background from the any of the image okay simply just click on that link and upload the photo which is bg dot remover okay this is background remover and you need to just upload your photograph whatever photograph it's there cool you just need to upload that like this which is already done I think I'll select this again okay upload it it will take some time to load and then you will see the background is removed automatically right for me uh, this image is already there so I'll not work on that so I'll select this image only and uh, picture format I'll click on this option crop in basic shape oval so this is my oval now I'll select this keep it in oval form So this is what I'm doing right now folks okay and I just keep it a short keep it over here and then background would be this we'll see how it goes or otherwise we'll remove a no fill okay that's completely fine because I think it looks fine for me you can change the uh, color as well for the image you can play around with the filters like this okay this is the color saturation tone recolor so on and so forth okay if in case you want in black and white you can keep this black and white as well I'll keep this uh, normal color which is my earlier one okay so now I'll add a name Mike this is the IT professional for me and uh, I'll keep this as a capital which is uppercase and I'll keep this as a loose size increased this is the name for uh, the person and then I'll click on this option which is shape again I'll click on this text box I'll say IT professional click on this control B and I'll select this over here okay what we have did so far so uh, we open the PowerPoint and uh, from horizontal to vertical we kept it this slide right and we have added this four rectangles over here right and different different colors we have filled so far we added the image and added a first and last name with post position whichever we are applying for I just remove this bold now um, in the mission statement so now instead of you now going back to back on this option text box just need to click on this option copy it control and select the first click of mouse and drag it you will get a copy of it and then what you can say you can say just a mission statement and then as we know right everyone has their own objective uh, for applying for the job you can add your own that's completely fine I'll just click on this option now oval 
okay and the color would be this and shape effect preset this I'll click here keep it like this this is my mission statement okay and this is not much really readable so what I will do I'll just select this entirely I'll click on this mission statement cool so this is what I have did so far folks okay and uh, now this particular person IT professional is having a nine years of experience so I'll just type in nine and uh, I'll say years cool mission statement so as we are creating this infographic way right this particular CV so what I will do uh, instead of you no know, typing this context everywhere I'll keep it a digit and charts wherever it's possible zoom ET size and then I just keep a nice font this one and I'll rotate this by selecting this cursor again the same font at least it should be readable and uh, it should matches the background so I'll just keep this zoom again cool so, so far we have did this thing and now let me just shrink this because I don't think so we require this much I'll just drag this table over here cool this is what it is and then I just select this and uh, this color again this color filled just zoom this mission statement and dot would be this side it's a bit snappy so that's what we need to zoom in and just keep it like this okay now this has been done so far uh, what we need to do we need to add a email ID it's personal information right so those kind of stuff we need to do ensure that again the text box here as well that side as well that's completely fine I'll just take it from this side which is email and then I'll keep this uh, size 12 right usually this is the default size and entirely will use this as well Mike underscore hand at the rate gmail dot com. So this is what the email ID for this guy again it's in a dummy one and for this I'll select this as a same color code and bold. now as soon as we done with the email ID this is the email ID what I will do I'll just add a its communication address which is not a really address though but uh, the virtual kind of an address if in case I have some website we'll add that website okay I'll just copy this paste it over here now I need a website so what I will do I'll just bigger and I'll take this as a website for me just a dummy again for an uh, education purpose this is the website 
and then what I will do I'll just add a phone number over here phone simple control press again just copy bring it down and here you can add a LinkedIn ID now here is a catch okay folks okay uh, usually you have seen uh, LinkedIn ID of the respective folks right like suppose I, I'll just quickly add uh, suppose LinkedIn I think I don't think so LinkedIn ID is stated over here somewhere is it no so LinkedIn dot com slash discover talent 143 this is on a random user ID right but I have one suggestion you know instead of uh, doing this manually right uh, this is in a digital age right I would recommend just copy this okay paste it over here the link and uh, as soon as you paste this link you will get this URL right and just right click on the Chrome and click on this create QR for this page okay copy this or maybe download that's completely fine and paste you will see this QR code is generated automatically now I don't need this URL instead I'll just say barcode cool so this is the uh, scan so basically whoever recruiter is there right so and if in case he want to know more about me he will what he will do he'll just click on this barcode and then you'll get this information completely I'm just arranging this stuff yeah this is what we have did so far and then I'm just arranging this logo but looks a bit empty so what I will do I'll just click on this rectangle again uh, and I'll insert a one rectangle like this and over here here I'll insert is some um, logos right click on this option no fill this is how it looks like so far I'll click on this option insert icons and then I'll insert a logo suppose I need a email logo then I'll click on this email and this email I just select this email okay instead that uh, and then website if in case uh, any so I'll just click on this uh, website logo click here and then LinkedIn ID I think don't think so there is a LinkedIn ID logo but if in case you want you can just you know, download that from online and you can just add it okay for now just an educational purpose I'm just showing this cool so why we have added that uh, vertical line to get a line okay you can remove that part later on that's completely fine okay let me just lock this object first right click Okay, right click and lock so I'll just lock this object this object will not move again this right click lock and lock this object will not move now okay I'll just click on this option again and at 
adjust it website I'll say this is my website so I'll just click here phone number cool so phone number click on this again and uh, phone so I think phone you will get it so just see what type of symbol I should pick I'll pick this oh that's add-on so this is what I have did okay and uh, there you go okay so we have placed this uh, logos now and we don't need this now so I'll just delete this this is how it looks like folks cool now what I will do I'll just add a color for this logo it's white so unfortunately this color is also applied for here as well Let me just control Z and uh, this cool so now we have applied this color and this is how it looks like for now now what I will do I'll insert a experience at this side okay so like this experience so now this is the experience for me oh, how uh, you want to categorize if you in case you want to categorize in a way that you know so and so uh, tenured or maybe time has been given okay so you can definitely add those but I would recommend you know go with this process uh, this is the you know very very useful one I find it okay so just check if in case you want to go with the another step that's completely fine I click on this Excel okay I click on this new workbook now as we are starting with the beginner stage right so you, how to open a excel just click on the start and then click on this excel option okay you could see this blank workbook available now you just need to click on this new blank workbook so this is how the workbook looks like and uh, what you need to do and what we want basically so we want a experience over here right so what I will do I'll say I have a experience in database I'll say front-end tools you can describe those basis your uh, you know skills folks okay this is a dummy one I'm taking so you can add your like you know uh, database SQL you have right to a Python you have dot net C sharp so on so forth so you can just add those and uh, basis that you, know, you can just give them rating yeah uh, I have hundred over here so what I will do I'll hundred I need to do a 40 for this right and then 30 for this remaining would be my 30 cool so this will create my entire hundred percent sum right I'll just remove this part select this entirely and now this uh, particular part database front-end back-end right this particular uh, activity you can add like in detail as well but prior that I'll show you this okay analytics I'll say reporting and uh, management well this this is the just a uh, random skills I have just added I just select this entire stuff uh, click on this recommended chart and this is the chart for me click on this color one and then ok as soon as I hit a ok I got this chart added over here I just do a control X and uh, click on this sheet again I'll just go into the top 
I'll arrange this chart. Access, I'll remove the access. Legends, I don't want a legend for now. Okay, I'll take it down later on. Grid line removed. Chart editor, I don't need it. So I'll just insert this. And now I'll insert a legend here I'll select a color like this team handling skill blah 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 cool I'll skip this color white and uh, I'll arrange this lightly okay so this is what we are doing it right now folks okay so simply what we have did we just added a different different skill set team handling front end back end database management reporting these are the skills we have added in the experience section now cool so this is what uh, we completed with this activity folks okay and uh, now this is in a technical part for me now copy this and paste it suppose uh, office 365 and then I'll say um office 365 and then forms poly okay and then I know uh, why if I engage I'll say Bard or maybe GPT you will say right GPT AI you have the skill and uh, yeah I'm I'm done with this so uh, I'll just remove the end section and uh, here I'll just click on this we'll select this option okay and uh, then we'll click on this recommended chart this option uh, we'll insert a recommended chart and then we'll select this chart style which is chart style 3 I'll click on this option format remove no fill I'll remove this title as well Control X and paste. Cool. So we have just and uh, a header as well for this because this will create a confusion otherwise, right? Click on this chart title and then this is the software. I would say rather soft skills. Yeah, this is a software for me. I'll keep this a border outline same color And I'll try to you know adjust this as well. Uh, let me see if it looks fine or otherwise we'll remove this border from here. Cool, I think this doesn't suit the graph, so we'll remove the border. That's fine because we don't want that graph. That's fine. Click on this node line and this. So this is how it looks like now. Okay, folks. We have added the per corner bottom and here we go okay now what we want what we want now we need a short bio about our 
portfolio so I'll just select this option insert the chart and I'll insert a one more thing which is a short bio I'll keep it a short because we are you know this entirely focusing on this content so you just need to you know add your text that saying that Mike is working with so and so having so and so blah blah details okay and these details will you can just you know, adjust your text over here cool so for now I'm just keeping this aside okay you will just add your short bio over here and in this section as we are utilizing the entirely this session in this section you need to add your location right live in the where are you currently located in so for that you click on this insert option and then we we'll click on this live uh, or maybe map I'll just say map cool and uh, map I'll select um, proper this one boom So this is the map for me. Copy this. Live in. Uh, I'll say Mumbai. Since two zero zero six. since 2006 okay so this is how uh, we created this entire stuff folks okay and uh, what I will do I'll just add a color combination here ensure that your color combination should go with your template okay. I'll just remove the background uh, outline for this and keep this content entirely white because you will be adding your own short bio over here folks okay so that's what and now I'm good with it because it's a readable otherwise if in case it's not really readable right you can keep this black font okay um, for me it's it's readable right now so I'll keep it as is and this is the size now the similar thing what we have applied uh, at the top we want a same replica at the bottom meaning uh, the top table with which we have already locked that we need to unlock that copy it and paste it cool and again you can just click simply right click lock it again and again unlock copy and paste it simply just drag it down lock okay so this is what we are creating now and again right click unlock copy and paste here right click lock it Cool, so I'll just do a arrangement for it. Simply arrange uh, whatever you have copied in your infographic resume. cool so this is what I have did so far copied and pasted it over here in the bottom side right folks now if you see that you know there are a gap there is a gap right uh, what is that so you need to add, uh, add your education details 
so basically the education details you need to add it okay if in case your description short bio description is increasing right ensure that your this you know this particular table will be like this cool for now i'm just keeping this as is and i'll keep this like this details. and uh, i'll say personal hobbies or maybe interest interest i need for interest simply i just take this copy it interest bold and then i'll say if in case you have worked on any kind of a uh, project right remotely then what you need to do um you can definitely add those in here section right so for that what you need to do just copy this first and then just say projects let me just upper case this get upper case whatever headers you have folks you know ensure that you are keeping that in upper case otherwise this look and feel would be a best cool uh i'll just say this 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 thing and then this is my project now this project right as we have inserting this entire stuff right inside in uh, graphical form right ensure that you know you are adding that uh, in graphical form as well so for that what you need to do again just go to the excel spreadsheet and in excel excel spreadsheet itself just add a india usa sri lanka Mm, this is just a country okay again uh, if in case you are in one of the country and uh, there are multiple cities you can use the map appropriate way for me i'm using this and then i'll say mm, okay i think this this much is enough for me just select this entirely 2090 Then keep it seventy. Select this, click on this insert option, and then click on the map. Map, cool. As soon as I hit a map, this is how it looks like. And what you need to do, you just need to click on this option, and click this option. Remove this uh, titles. We don't need this. simply just click here title remove legend remove remove do a control x for this and in your ppt your powerpoint right just do a control v boom it seems something went wrong Okay so again we'll do a control x here and here we'll do a control v cool so i think this map should be here somewhere it's taking some time to load and there you go okay so your map is inserted you just need to arrange that map
so this is what I have arranged this map so far okay and what I will be uh, doing over here right uh, wherever it's white space and uh, the cadence I've added it here I'll do a control copy and then paste it over here I'll do a control T without headers copy and uh, I'll say location contribution I will be delivered okay delivery delivered I'll say okay simply just copy this and paste it over here we have this table design available on the top click on this option click here no border let's align this first column is title all are bold now and then what I will be doing central this and keep this font okay it's already already low so I'll just keep it this as is the projects which I have delivered now what I will be doing so basically this is how you can know uh, import a map in this resume okay now the educational details you can add your educational details in a form like just copy this and paste it the bottom suppose 210 you completed uh, school years, right and uh, 2012 high school and then at the top you will say 14 graduate okay so this is what you know you can do it uh, as for your convince folk okay that's not an issue as for your creativity you can add this and uh, what I will be suggesting okay, you just select this entirely and then just simply add a oval over here one two three okay. your recent qualification that should be on the top so this is how you will be adding these details okay and uh, we just change this color entirely for this logos at least cool interest and then interest is your hobbies right so what type of interest hobby you want to add you can show that in the form of uh, dance then let's say sketch drawing instead any of the logo you could see over here right uh, basis you are requirement you can definitely add the logos over here
so i'm just uh, you know arranging this uh, entire area of interest logos over here okay but it's taking some time so let me just lock this object first because it's creating a problem while updating a color let me just say this color likewise you can know update that color as well if needed I'll keep it as is and I'll say personal and in this personal uh, what uh, I'll be mentioning stating that you know uh, on weekends I like spending time with spending time with family member etc thing you can just add it right that's completely you know uh, it's your own call folks okay uh, if in case you want to keep it this personal tab or not uh, otherwise you can keep this achievement as well that's completely fine cool it so this is what we have created so far folks okay I'll just arrange this and keep it a center this is how we created this uh, beautiful infographic way resume folks okay if in case any queries questions okay feel free to drop in below comment section i'm happy to help you out thanks for watching have a great day ahead